Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So we've got an unboxing to do today. And this one, although it looks like uh, just nothing, a big play box, is actually from a craft buddy, Chris Hallard. Just quickly give you a quick flash of it there without showing my address. Yay! So let's get this big box up. Look, it only just fits on my desk, I tell you. Definitely need a bigger desk, but I've been rearranging my craft room, so maybe not. Maybe I can start fitting things on a bit better. Right, be back in a second. So, <laughs> we swap one plain box for another plain box. We have, ooh, the new catalogue, yay! And we have, ooh, one of those to have a play with. And good old, good old, da da da, yeah, I always want some of that. And then, plain box <laughs> we'll have a look at the plain boxes in a second because we can see what these are uh, but yeah these are all the new things that are coming out from craft buddy look that are on here so it looks like we've got batman coming out there we've got friends there uh that looks like wonder woman and superman and then we have uh, the buddies are coming out in harry potter soon uh, some little stitch key rings there and then a Winnie the Pooh and a genie. So, yay! This is uh, the whole catalogue of the whole range that they do. So there's, oh, lots of new stuff. So that will be a bit of light reading for this evening. Um, every time I tell myself I am not going to be buying any more Craft Buddy stuff um, and I'm going to go on a no-buy, they bring out some really cute stuff. So... Oh dear, oh dear, right, so yeah, um, if you spent over £50 then that was free, otherwise they do charge £2.50 now for the catalogue. Yeah, you did used to be able to get the catalogues free, but I mean I would think the printing cost of this is quite expensive um, and it's all an extra cost for a business, which they probably would add on to the products, so I would sooner say spend a certain amount to get the catalogue free or pay the £2.50 if I'm really desperate to see what the new stuff coming out is. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's only fair. But, yeah, they are very, very nice. Like everything else that the brand in Craft Buddy do, they really are very good at it. Very nice. Very professional. So, I've got my Crystal Art Sealer, my favourite. And... Um, when I was looking through uh, and there, were, there was like these two new things that I wanted to get, one of them absolutely I wanted to get and I thought, well, the other one, it'd just be rude not to. Uh, I have got some discount codes. Uh, if you leave me a message down below, I can uh, let you have the discount codes or send me a p private message um, or an email or whatever if you do want the discount codes. So because I was getting like the 15% off, Basically, I've got this free with my order as well, because this would normally be eight ninety nine, and with my fifteen percent discount, I've got nine pound thirty seven off. So, yeah, it was worth sort of going over the fifty pound um, to get the free catalogue, and then using the discount code to get the fifteen percent off as well. So, yay! Always need sealer, and it does keep if it's not opened. It does keep for a long time. I mean, even to be fair, when it's opened, it does keep for quite a long time as well. It's only when you get to the last bit at the bottom um, that, you know, it might start drying a little bit because it's had a lot of air and it has a lot of air in the container. That's why, although I am trying to seal everything as I go along, that's why if I'm coming to the bottom of a tub, then I try to seal it sort of like save things up so I can use every little last inch you know me I'm very stingy I don't like get throwing anything away so yay right now these have been on well the big stand you can get a big stand it's about 70 pound with lots of these little like frames um all in like one big hexagon I think they used to fit the whole set of the first series of um, the buddies, the little figures that you can get. And then they've started selling them singly as well. So this one was 6 99 and then I did get my discount off. So I thought I would get one to have a look at, to see whether it's going to be worth my while as I do my little buddies, um, to have them stood on little stands. And I suppose it does make them a little bit more of a present. You know, if you 
giving somebody, say, one of the little Spider-Mans or one of the little princesses, um, if you actually give the person the little stand to go with it so they can have it on the wall, I think that will be quite a, sort of an extra present, a nice little present. It does show you there, look, you can put them um, like that or you can uh, um, fasten them together. Maybe I should have got two so I can see how to fasten. But anyway, let's have a look. Oh, my goodness, it's a DIY kit. Oh, gosh, I wasn't expecting that. I did wonder how it fitted into this little box, but then I thought, oh, well, maybe it's a lot smaller than I thought, but oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, heck. Um, I think this is going to be a project for another day. Gosh, I hope that big stand doesn't come like this. Oh, can you imagine getting all these little bags of all these little bits for that big stand? So, yeah, it's like a wood. Um, effect it's mdf i believe and then it's got like a coating on it and they've put like a wood grain effect on all the pieces and it's just a new black i suppose you could paint it any color you like but black tends to be um fairly generic tends to fit in with a lot of things so is this our instructions let's have a look oh yes all oh, right so yeah it's telling us how to put it all together <laughs> <laughs> and they have started doing this now look with qr codes so you can scan your qr code and actually see a video of somebody making it as well and then just the generic sort of leaflet on the back there so i wasn't expecting that so i'm not going to put this together today because i want to get on and have a look at my new things but maybe it's something we'll do in the future they're maybe not doing the big stand for the buddies anymore and um, i'll see if i can find a picture of it uh, and let you see it if i can see oh look at all the new superheroes and uh looks like we've got some disney there as well and yeah so i'll be able to tick off which ones i've got and which ones i haven't um i think yeah they're all the so the, it's all these little figures each one would fit into one of these little frames as i say they did sell the big set so possibly it's gone that's another new set that's coming out look me to you uh, as i used to call it well we used to call it tatty ted um, he was always Tatty Ted, but uh, or Blue Nosed Bear, but now he's me to you. So that is a new card set coming out as well. So, yeah, there's lots of new bits and pieces coming out. But as I said, I just thought I'd get a frame. But I am not doing that now. So once I've done some buddies, uh, then I will actually build this and we'll put one of the buddies in it. So, yeah. Wow, that's a whole craft kit on its own, isn't it? <laughs> just me that thinks that 6 99 for a little frame that you have to build yourself is quite a high price usually like you know if you get flat pack furniture it's a lot cheaper because you have to build it yourself mm. anyway so we'll give that a go i do like to try so which one shall we do first i'm gonna do one first and we'll leave the smaller one till last because i have not seen it anywhere other than a little picture on the website so this one i think i've seen oh look i've put my cutter away again so let's get into this one and have a look i'm hoping it's in one of the nice boxes they have started doing planer boxes as well oh yes it is in a nice box it's a box in a box it was a box in a box and it's another box and look it's a bunny they are expanding my bunny collection is getting bigger and bigger but i just couldn't resist now they've actually called this one a decoration rather than a wreath but that does look like a bunny wreath to me, does it you? <laughs> uh, oh, it says it's 34 centimetres by 35 centimetres, so it's a biggie. It's uh, over 12 inches, wow. Uh, looks like we are all resin drills, there's no specials on there. So yeah, but look at that box. I just love getting on craft buddy boxes, I could just sit and look at them. Do you know, if I had a shop, I'd probably just go around stroking them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I'd definitely get taken away, wouldn't I? <laughs> All right, so let's get into this box. So we're on box number three. It'd be funny if there was another box inside it, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, and I have so many to do for our Easter. It's unbelievable. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Oh, wow, look at the size of that. 
gosh, I'm not going to need any wallpaper at this uh, rate. I'll just have bunnies everywhere. <laughs> so let's just put the box down. And let's get him out of his packet and see what we are. Okay, so... Oh, we have got a crystal. There is, looks like we've got a green crystal. We'll see if there's any others as well. So they're all your resin gems, which have a few more facets on than the acrylic and tend to be a better quality. So, you know, you're paying for your quality with Craft Buddy. Um, the price of this one was 19 99 but as I said, I did get 15% off. So what's that? Uh, £3 off. So uh, 17 99 16 99 So 16 99 I've paid for this one. Uh, just a generic leaflet telling you how to diamond paint in all your languages and what you get in your kits. And we are 24 different colours. Yeah, and there's just the one um, crystal there. These are all your DMC codes here. So if you're wanting to save your gems and put them in uh, DMC code order so you can match each kitting down with each one. Um, anything with a zero at the front is actually a crystal. And that is the crystal code. And I have got a conversion to convert now crystal codes into DMC codes. So, yay. But, yeah, this uh, little picture here just shows you um, the picture as is. And then this shows you where you're actually putting your gems. So his little eye there isn't going to have any gems on, which is fair enough because uh, eyes are quite a difficult thing to do. Uh, we have uh, just the Leric Toolkit now. Uh, you get your pen with your three place set on the end, which is the old style one. Uh, but I do love that purple foil on the white. I just think that looks so classy. I know I say it every time, but I do. And I still do. I still love Craftsbody. They are what got me into crystal art and diamond paintings. So uh, you get a little white boat and there's usually about 20 grip seal bags there and your little bit of wax so yeah enough to do your little project if you wanted to give them as present okay. but let's have a look at this that is stunning i just love it wow look at that bunny it's huge though it really is big let me see if i've got my other one somewhere all right this is the other wreath that i got now oh mind you they do again call this a hanging decoration um and this is 30 by 30. Let's say I'm supposed to be on a no buy and look how many bunnies I'm getting. So that was the last one I got. So look how much bigger that one is. Wow. Let's put it, actually, I'll do it backwards so that you can see. Look at that. That is quite a substantial amount bigger. Well, five centimetres to be fair, but you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, dear Liz. So, yeah, I have still got the other one to do as well. I must crack on and get these done. I am going to do a lot of kitting up um, and get all these things done because I don't want them up for Easter. Uh, I don't want to be leaving them till next Easter. So, yay, let's get the bunnies on the walls. Okay, I will give it a quick measure so you can actually see. But Craft Buddy are usually true to size. So, we are... Uh, ooh, just, I'm wondering, is that maybe the widest point? Yeah, I would think 35 centimetres at the widest point, which is 13 and three quarter inches, nearly 14 inches. And yeah, we're about 24-ish centimetres. It's difficult with the spike sticking out to actually get to the sort of widest point, but yeah which is about 13 and a half-ish inches. So, yeah, but the colours on this are gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, he's so sweet. Yeah, so we only have the one crystal. So where does the crystal go then? Uh, it's Z. Goodness me, we're using the whole alphabet on this one. So Z, Z, Z. Oh, just in the middle of the leaves, look. So we're just going to have that little bit of sparkle in the middle of the leaves. Mm. We've not got a white, I don't think, either. 
no i might have a look through some of my uh, a b gems which are the sort of iridescent coated gems and see if i've got any of these colors and i might just substitute a few of the colors out for a b's not on the bunny i don't mind animals just being the plain colors because i think it gives them more of a lifelike effect but uh, i do sometimes like a bit more sparkle in my flowers just to make them a little bit prettier. Uh, this has got a very nice dark edge on it actually as well. Um, I do quite often colour my edges in because I don't like seeing the wood, but actually because this is such a dark edge, I think we may be okay. And I don't think my light green would go over that anyway to show. So I think this one will be fine, but that's great. It comes with a lovely little hanger already fastened as well. So you can either put it on your wall with command strips or you can use a, a hanging nail or, or one of those little hanger device things that you hammer into the wall. Um, I would suggest that you have good walls though and uh, yeah, that it's well and truly in because this is heavy on its own. There is quite a bit of weight there. And then once all the gems are on, those gems do weigh quite a bit as well. They don't feel as though they do when they're in the packets, but if you do like a full drill diamond painting, there is quite a bit of weight there. So yeah, I would make sure that uh, you have a really good tack or something um, or nail in the wall so that this hangs. You don't want it falling off. Yeah, the bunny might escape. <laughs> It's so pretty. I just love the colour palette with all those flowers. And one thing Craft Buddy do, um, although they're not doing the specials and doing the crystals and the AB coated gems quite so much anymore, their charting is superb. They will always go the extra mile and add extra colours in to make everything sort of stand out and be very 3D and very shaded. So you get a real good picture effect rather than just a couple of colours that make it a little bit flat. They are so very, very good at that. So let's have a look at these colours. Oh, look at the pretty colours in this. Oh, this is gorgeous colour palette. Oh, look, hot pink, yay. <laughs> Do you think I go through my kits and just think, I'm only ordering it if it's got hot pink. <laughs> oh, this one is A, and we'll start at this end. So we have this lovely uh, purpley colour and like lilac and lavender colours. Look at that, you see, that's what I mean. Some kits would only come with one or two of the lilac-y purpley colours, but this one's got four, so you get that extra depth and shading. And then like a tan colour and a peachy colour. And a rust colour. And look at all these pinks. And there's more pinks as well. So we've got hot pink to a paler pink to a paler pink to an exceptionally pale pink. And then two greens. Look, we've got that lovely lime green as well. I'm hoping my grass will come back that colour. It's so waterlogged at the moment. I'm not quite sure what colour it is. Uh, we've then got like a, a neutral colour. And like a jady green. Oh, and a lovely baby pink. Oh, look at that green. That's a different one. Oh, nice. And like a magenta. And we're back on pinks again. So we've got seven different pinks in this. Oh, yay. And then we've got a little bit of a jady green there. Some more lime green. A lovely peach colour. And then just the little uh, standard crystal there at the end in the green. So, yeah, very pretty. It'd be quite nice to have, I think, an AB in the pink. I'll have to have a look and see which ones I've got. Possibly this colour because there's so much of it. And I think I do have something very similar. It would be quite nice. It'll just make everything sparkle a little bit more. And I like my sparkle. Oh, not folded those up very well. Never mind. But I think I may be kitting this one up today. So I'll put the little key code in with those gems as well. There. and then we'll have a look what's in the other box yay all right as i say i've not seen anything about this one at all not on um, instagram or tiktok or anything so i'm sure other people have got it as well but you know me i do like to try new things now i can't find out oh it's there look do you know one of those days <laughs> I seem to be having more and more. Oh, goodness, right. Oops. Okay, so this one, I'm hoping it's as nice as it looks. I think it could be quite a DIY. Oh, this one isn't in a box. It's just in a plain box. Oh, we've got batteries. Okay, 
batteries. Nice. You don't get many projects that actually come with the batteries. Okay, let's... Oh, it's very, very well. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Oh, gosh. There's a lot in this one. Okay. Sad that it's not in a craft buddy box. Um, but okay, the rabbit is very, very cute. So we've got resin drills again. I can't see. Oh, we have got an AB. Ah, there you are. Look, we've got two packs of white AB at the end. Excellent. So at least we've got a little bit of sparkle. That's our little battery pack um, with like the LED lights look in this like strip that goes around it. Okay. We've got oh two pens and two boats in this one. So yeah, this one's to do with a friend. <laughs> you've got your uh, two pens your two little white boats two pieces of wax and again mm. oh i don't know i don't think there looks uh, i reckon there's not 20 grip seal bags there there might only be about 10 in there maybe wrong but anyway i'm not counting them but yeah so we've got our extra bits for the edges a little bit like the chocolatey box one i think this one Okay, let's have a look at the instructions. It's a little 3D project. Yep, so we've got our contents here. We've got your back and your front of your bunny. You've got the bunny in the middle. We've got a base and then we've got the outside edges. Okay. Right. Oh, look, God, that's a big key code. Wow. Even for my eyes, that's brilliant. <laughs> I've not had one that big before. So this is actually telling us um, which bits were going to be diamond painting. Um, so all the outside edges are going to be diamond painted as well. Wow, that's going to take some doing. And that's like wood that's bendy as well. We'll have a look at that again in a second. But yeah, we've got uh, our numbers down here, our DMC codes. And it does also tell you how many you've got. So we've got 1,538 white ABs. So that's excellent. But say you wanted to swap out number 963, which is number 16, you would only need 67 gems to swap that one out. So it's quite good having the numbers because it gives you a rough idea if you're looking through your spares um, to see whether you can substitute any out or not. Uh, you know, you, you don't want to start your... Th your um, you don't want to start substituting out gems and suddenly find that you've only got half the number you need or something. This sort of gives you a nice rough idea as to what you need. So, yeah, but look at that little bunny's face. It's quite nice, that, actually. I might have to cut that out and put it on a sticker or something. Put it through my Zyron sticker maker and have a bunny sticker. Yay! <laughs> OK, so does it tell us? Oh, it does tell us how to make it look. So it tells you to put um, your LED lights around the outside of the frame. You then put this onto there. So I will build this on camera as well. So this is another one that's going to need kitting up. Uh, so that's that. And then you put your scene in there and then you slot your little bunny in. OK, wow, excellent. Right, so our lovely wooden stand. Oh, that's got a bit... Um, yeah, we'll have to make sure we use it that way up because that side's just got a little bit, I don't know, it's a bit warped. Or is it warped or is it just the uh, colour on it? I don't know. It's got some strange markings on it. don't know whether it shows up. Yeah, it does. It's got some like strange stripes sort of coming across here. Hmm, okay. Uh, the price of this one was... 23.99 and then i did get the 15 percent off so excellent right let's look at this bunny oh so that's different right so we've got an acrylic bunny oh look at that i mean you could actually use that after easter and just put it in uh, a little stand or something use it different but look at oh it's a little girl look, look at her eyelashes Oh, gosh. Yeah, these bunnies, actually, I'm going to use uh, the lady that said to me, well, if you start off with one or two bunnies, you always end up with a lot more. I'm going to use that excuse to hubby when he says, how many bunnies are you putting up around this house this Easter? <laughs> so, yeah, this is different. I've never had one that's a mixture of acrylic and um, the wood as well. So that's different. 
that's nice okay so it just means you get like the transparent edges so you know you don't get like that big chunky white head uh, you don't get that big chunky wooden edge on them they do look you know this bit here um will all be transparent there won't be that creamy edge they've all got the backing sheets on so once it's completed just take off that backing sheet i'm not going to lift it up it's easiest to use tweezers to get them up or if you've got really fine nails that's good as well so we've got one two three and then a little one to go at the front as well so this is like your 3d scene so you will just literally position these into here Hang on. Oh, just move that out of the way a second um and suppose you can do them in whatever order you like I suppose the bigger pot will maybe go at the back, will it? I'm not pushing these down too far because they have got the covers on as well. So I don't want the covers um, coming off or, uh, it get, or it getting stuck. And then bunny there. So you get like this real 3D effect. I mean, if you wanted to, um, if you took away that, to be fair... Oh, mind you, then you've got your bunny show in there. But I suppose you could put something else there. But yeah, you know, it's not screaming Easter if you've just got your bunny and your flowers. Uh, but then, just pop that back in. You also get your Easter frame, which you will put your um, LED lights. Oh, that's a bit, uh, it's a good job that's the back. It looks like as they've pulled it out of the... Um, out of the uh, wood, the um, va the veneers coming off it, or the paper, or whatever it is that they use. Is it paper? It's like paper. Like look that. at my fingers. Something's been black. It must be those boxes. I washed my hands before I started. I always do. I don't want to be coming on here and saying, "Oh, look at my filthy hands." <laughs> so yeah, so we've got that one. Then goes in the front there. There's no gems on that one. Okay, and then this one goes in the back. So again, we've got a nice brown backing, but it will uh, go that way on so that you get your scene behind your bunny. Oh, I love this. I wonder why this one's not been on Create and Craft. I wonder if they didn't get quite the numbers they wanted. So that's like your 3D scene, but you then on your edges get all these all these like little tracks to go around they are like a train track sort of so yeah you've got the a bendy wood that takes a lot of doing anybody that's into woodworking will know that getting a piece of wood to sort of bend like that is uh, quite difficult to do so that's excellent and then that you see will fit oops take that off all of those little slots on the, there will fit into the little slots going round so that you'll shape it round to the top. I wonder which one goes at the top then. So, so I will build this on camera. Oh, is one longer than the other? Sorry, just, just talk amongst yourselves while I just have a little bit of a play. <laughs> and just see how this fits. So they both have to start at the bottom there. Okay, and then they're both going to fold round there. Oh, right, they're going to meet at the top then. Oh, right, so that one, I see. So you've got to make sure you get it the right way around because those two are going to fit together. Oh, that's a bit smaller than that one. I suppose that's how it goes in. So they're going to fit together to make the top one. Uh, yeah, so that fits. Right, okay, I did wonder how it was going to go at the top. Oh, well, that's good then. Okay. But yeah, these have all got gems on them as well. So that's all got to be diamond painted. So there'll be lots and lots of crystals on this. I'm just wondering whether I might want to build this and then put the gems on afterwards. And then seal it. Or I don't know whether I want to seal this because if you seal this, you might get the sealer in between the edges and then it's going to stop it from closing and opening up mm. I may build this first and then put the gems on it I know it will be more difficult to do because it will be a 3D shape to diamond paint onto but then it saves sort of like disturbing the gems as you're going along 
I'll see. I'll have a think about that one. But don't you think that bunny is absolutely gorgeous? He's lovely. Wow. And again, it's something that you're just going to bring out year after year. And because the batteries are just your standard triple uh, double a batteries you can replace them um when you put it away make sure you take them out little tip there i make these mistakes so you don't have to yeah you don't want your battery pack to uh, not be very good let's have a look at the lights see uh, i presume that they're just going to be like a plain color light let's have a look okay so yeah that's all the lights in there they're doing like these strip lights now and I say, I think that's got like a sticky back on it. I'm not going to undo it now. I say I will do it on camera um, so that it sticks onto all the front. So the front will be shining back onto the crystals on the bunny. So it'll be very, very pretty. Right, let me see if I can get this off. Okay. Uh, if anybody's got any spare hours in a day, can you let me have some, please? Because I think I'm just going to be diamond painting forever. <laughs> oh, dear. Look, I'm even having to use my knife to open packets now. Look, I've got... There's definitely some things. Gosh, look, my hands are black. Heck. So before I do anything else, I will be uh, washing my hands again and again and again. So let's just pop these batteries in. Okay. Don't know what make these are, but I should think they'll be okay. Batteries seem to be okay these days. I know you can buy the ones. Oh, look, they've come straight on. So they're quite bright. Yeah, batteries tend to be um, fairly good these days. You don't get those cheap batteries that only last five minutes anymore. You know, even the cheaper batteries seem to last a little bit longer. Maybe it's just me, but that's uh, yeah, just how I seem to be at the moment. Right, so we'll switch that off. Is it a push or is it a... How does this switch off then? Oh, it goes that way. Oh, has it got two different settings? It has, but I'm not quite sure what the different settings are. Right, let me switch it off a moment. Is one real bright? Sometimes one's a flashy one and sometimes they're not. So let me just pop that on there. So does it tell us? Or maybe it's just me being heavy handed and pushing it across a bit more. No, I can't see anything that tells us that it's different. So we've got that one. Oh no, it is just the one. It's because I didn't have it um, in the case. So yeah, that's fine. That's quite sharp actually. It's got like a little, um, I don't know if you can see that. It's got like little bunny ears on there. Just see, it's got like little points. It's quite sharp, that. Ooh, I might just put a bit of tape or something on that. I don't want to be uh, scratching myself every time I turn my bunny lights on and off. So, yeah, but I think this is brilliant. I love it. I'm just absolutely loving all the diamond painting stuff that's coming out at the moment. Okay, right. I'm just going to pop some of these bits and pieces away for now. Okay, so we've had a bit of a bunny day. Um, we started off with our good old standard crystal art sealer. Yay! Uh, our little frame, which is a real buildable, which I will do at some point. <laughs> well, that was quite a shock, seeing that you had to build that yourself. Hmm, okay. Our lovely, gorgeous, huge bunny. Look at the size of that. That is going to be real impactful. Going to have to find a really good space for that to go. Our lovely little bunny light, which is great, really different, something um, I've not had before. Definitely not had acrylic and uh, wood mixed before, so that's something new as well. And the little LED strip lights with your batteries included, which is, you know, saves you a couple of pounds, doesn't it? Uh, getting your batteries with it. So, yeah, all in all, a nice little haul from Craft Buddy. So, yeah, I've enjoyed getting these. As I say, I wish they'd stop bringing out... No, I don't really wish they'd stop bringing new stuff out because I do love seeing the new stuff. But uh, I get hubby might be a bit overwhelmed by all the bunny rabbits that I'm getting out at the moment. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me and seeing this unboxing. If you have, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 
And if you want to join our little family and see these completed and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.